Yo, I'm Bob, totally blind since birth, into Lord of the Rings. Gonna be taking a look at King Elendil from the Lord of the Rings trilogy line. Elendil comes from the prologue scene in Fellowship of the Ring, in which he was portrayed by Peter McKenzie. I love the way this action figure turned out. He's got Narso in his right hand. Very, very long sword. The blade is a pretty wide blade. It looks different from when it was reforged into Anduro. I wonder if that's just the way they sculpted it or if the sword looked different when they reforged it. So here he is in profile from the back. He's got this big button sticking out of his back here. Kind of wish they'd put that beneath the cape. I love the armor he's sporting. I also really like the way the helmet looks. It reminds me of um, Aragorn's crown at the end of Return of the King with the two pieces. He's got one there in the front, got one in the back. It's almost as if Elendil said, you know, I'm going to have someone make me a helmet and crown combo so I can look spiffy in battle. Um, you can also remove the helmet Get a better look at that head sculpt. There we go. I wish Isildur or Elendil could have come with broken Narsal as well. So you could have had an additional accessory. But I still really like these two, father and son. Pretty cool to watch them in Rings of Power, season one. I think that's all I have to say about King Elendil. 10 out of 10 for both of these guys. I love the armor, love the weapons, uh, pretty spiffy looking helmets. And uh, anywho, I'll see you guys, or hear you rather, in the next Lord of the Rings figure review.